Okay, vlog 12 or whatever it is. I think it's 12. Uh, just thoughts on NeoPixel versus uh, versus um, RGBX or inhaled LED, however you want to call it. Um, thoughts are there's no contest. I mean, <laughs> these are two different creatures, basically. Um, entry level, more expensive entry level. Uh, and this is this from what I saw on the camera looks more closely like what they actually look like in real life. Uh, this one's plenty bright until you turn this one on, and then you're like, oh. Um, I just don't think it's fair to compare them. It's just according to what you want to spend on it. Um, if I was going to dual. Or if I love spinning, which I do, uh, or twirling, or flow, or what do you call it? This is your this is your beast right here. Uh, this hollow blade and the lightness. Uh, there's no comparison with. Turn this crap off. There's no comparison in brightness and sound quality and smoothness and quality. It's just not fair to compare the two things, because I mean, this one costs essentially twice as much or more than this one. And if you notice, I don't have a Saber, I just pieced together what I had with a profit core uh, and a couple of new pieces I picked up to make this thing. So it's Therax emitter, my one spacer, which I need another one because it wasn't two hours in before I was tearing apart my favorite spinner that I said I was never going to tear up to get that spacer out <laughs> to try to balance this profit better. Uh, switch from the Therax, a handle, a grip I picked up on a AliExpress, I think, and then a, just a new pommel for the. Uh, Therax, basically. So it's just pieced together, like I said, and a profit core I picked up from a friend, uh, which is an LGT core. It's got like 16 or 17 fonts on it, um, which I will put up a video later going through the fonts, but I don't think that's really necessary as much difference as there is in these profit cores and, and you know, as much personalization and customization is gonna, is gonna come into it later. But I will show you what fonts came on the LGT straight from LGT, so just for fun. Um, one complaint over, one complaint about the LGT versus the, uh, Crimson Dawn profi I had, the shade, briefly, and this is the only thing I could think of where it was better. The Crimson Dawn came standard with a, a blade uh, profile that, that looked way better on the Ben Solo font, and that's that's my only complaint, uh, which I'm sure once I crack into the profi and figure that out after I get a good laptop, it's not a work laptop, because I can't be doing it on a work laptop, uh, I'll add that blade effect or something close to it. That's, I mean... Just the possibilities of what you can do with this thing are insane. So I'm hoping I can figure it out and learn how to do it right. Um, but I'm never going to knock these RGBXs because having bought them first, I I mean, if you watch these videos, the fun I've had for the, the, the price I paid for these things is uh, incalculable as far as the ratio to dollar smile goes. <laughs> uh, my first one, the Therax, the RGBX, I got from Dark Wolf. Um, I picked it up. We were out camping. I picked it up when I come in to get some supplies and uh, took it back to the campsite. We were out in the middle of nowhere in Texas. Uh, <laughs> I proceeded to drive my whole family crazy the rest of the weekend because I'd stay up half the night turning that thing on, swinging it around where I thought nobody could hear me, but apparently it was keeping everybody away. Anyway, these are awesome. I would say get these first while you play with them, figure out what you want on the, the, the uh, more uh, high-end avenues of it. And, uh, you know, they're all fun. They're all going to give you lots of good times and, and uh, <laughs> good clean yard fun. I don't know. But as far as comparing the two, I don't think it's fair. Because your Profi and your NeoPixel is going to outperform every time. And the smooth swing on this thing is so sensitive and so awesome. The only complaint I have is the, the weight of the blade. It throws the balance off. Even with my attempts to balance it, it's still about right there. Whereas I can easily get a RGBX to balance right at the hilt. Like my other one did. But I am going to get into the spacer and, and rebuild my old spinner. And have the best of both worlds, hopefully. But I really don't know where I go from here other than uh, I think I want a Bendu blade, 
uh, in the light grade just to see if I can offset that weight some. And um, let's see, maybe a better speaker for the Profi after I learned to solder some. I have to put some back on my RGBXs for good practice. But um, yeah, thoughts overall is get both. There's there's just no way around it. If you like dueling, if you like twirling, get the RGBX. Uh, there's the best. That's the best for it. If you like looks and um, that uh, suspension of disbelief to make you think you've got a real lightsaber almost, that's the way to go. Uh, and if the smooth swing had worked whenever I got that shade, I <laughs> that'd have been a big smile on my face because I just. I want to be honest. I've barely picked up the RGBX since I got this thing. And that's the Vader Luke font. That's what I keep it on most of the time. I don't know. Just uh, random thoughts on something you probably already knew. Just redneck guy saying it over in my accent. So, as always, uh, may the force be with you, and I'll catch you guys later. And don't forget to sign up for the uh, lightsaber giveaway if you're interested. Ten dollar donation charity. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Later.